Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the previous year coding questions which are asked in IBM exam for the software engineer role. This is part two of this series. Previously, also I have made a video in which I have discussed the last year questions of IBM hiring. So guys, make sure that you are watching this video till the end so that you can get to know the type of the questions that are getting asked in the IBM exam. The, uh, this is the coding exam and it is a very much it holds very good weightage on your selection process if you will not be clearing this coding exam you won't be going towards the interview process okay so make sure that you are watching this video as well as the previously uploaded video uh, on, uh, on the questions which were uh, asked previously you will get a very good idea on these particular topics and guys if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe it because we continuously make videos on different different companies and the questions that are getting asked in different different companies okay and we also cover the interview questions that are asked and we also take mock interviews also so all in all you can find all the things on our channel so make sure that you are present on our channel and are subscribing to it so guys now let's let's start this video and before starting the video please hit that like button okay so guys first of all we will be discussing the question then we will be discussing the approach of this question and then finally we will be discussing the code of this question so the question here is very simple given a string containing both upper and lower case characters replace all the vowels with the numbers starting from 1 to 9 and then return the reverse of that string so let's just read the question once again given a string containing both upper and lower case characters replace all the vowels with the number starting from 1 to 9 and return reverse of that string so let's just see with the help of example that things will become more clear so here is an uh, input that is an string that is given as India okay so what you have to do first of all we will have to replace all the vowels with the number starting from 1 to 9 now what is the meaning of this vowel starting from 1 to 9 it means that see this is a string India so how we will write it it is like this let's suppose we are writing it like this India okay so we will replace all the vowels with number so when we are traversing the string from left to right first is i so is i a vowel so yes i is a vowel so what we'll do we will assign one number to it next character is n so no n is not a vowel so we will keep it like this only next is d is d a vowel no d is also not a vowel so we will keep it like this next is i is i a vowel yes i is a vowel so now we'll assign replace this i with the number so what will be the number that we will be replacing it with it will be 2 because starting from left to right we will assign each vowel a number in the incrementing order that is first vowel will get one second vowel will get two and so on now moving ahead next character is a is a a vowel so answer is yes a is also a vowel so we will assign it a number that is three now we have got one and d two three this is the resultant string here after we have replaced our vowels with the numbers but there is a second step also that is return the reverse of that string so what will be the reverse of the string reverse of the string will be sorry reverse of the string will be 3 2 small d small n and then 1 so see this is the resultant output and this is also our output so i hope this input is clear to you now moving to the next input because I know with the help of an example not much things are clear but let's just move ahead next next word is Australia let me just write it like this so is a a vowel yes a is a vowel we'll replace it by one u is a vowel yes u is also a vowel we'll replace it by two s is a vowel no t is a vowel no r is a vowel no a is again a vowel so we'll replace it by three l is not a vowel so we'll keep it as it is i is again a vowel we will replace it by five Oh, sorry four and then again a is a vowel we will replace it by five so again what we'll do now we will reverse this string and our output will be five four small l three r t s two one so this is our resultant string that is we have convert we have first uh, replaced all the vowels with the increasing number and then we have reversed the string now one thing to note here is that this particular note that is given if the vowels in a string are greater than 9 then again start the counter by 1 so let's just see the example of this case also let's just suppose we have a string called which have 9 or uh, 10 a's let's just suppose 10 a's okay how many there are 4 5 8 and now let's just suppose 10 a's so first of all we'll replace all the vowels with the uh, with the number so it will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 
so now nine has reached and there is a tenth vowel also so what we'll do are again the counter will be starting from one only it will be starting the counter by one only so nine one and if again there is a a then it will be two like this now we will be replacing uh, we will be reversing the string and what will be the output it will be two one nine eight seven six five four three two one so this will be our final output for this particular case so i hope now all the inputs and all the outputs are clear to you now let's just quickly move towards the code and approach of this question that how we will be doing it okay so guys if till now you are finding this video useful then do hit that like and subscribe button for this channel and because lot of more videos of different different companies and different, different interview experiences coding questions and recently i'm starting a spring boot interview series so all these things i'm starting so make sure that you are present on this channel and are subscribing to this channel now like quickly let's jump jump onto the code that how we will have to write it so in the ibm exam you will have to only implement the function the main method they will be giving you and only the in, uh, function you will have to implement that is the input will be given to you and output will be given to you just that you will have to implement the function only okay let's just see what we'll do now so first we have initialized a variable that is string answer that is empty because this is the actual answer variable string variable that will be returning at the end of this function okay then see what we'll do we all know that what are the vowels? Vowels are A, E, I, O, U and input string can also contain uppercase alphabets. So in capital also A, E, I, O, U are the vowels only. So what I have done, I have maintained a hash map in which I have first of all placed all the vowels that are possible. So A, E, I, O, U in lowercase, then A, E, I, O, U in uppercase, all the vowels I have added in this particular hash map. Okay. Now I have a variable called as counter. This counter is initialized by one and what is the role of this counter variable? The role of this counter variable is to uh, is to replace a vowel by character. We will keep on incrementing this counter when the vowel appears. Okay, now what we, now the main steps start that is we will be iterating over our input string. We will be iterating over our input string that is this str. Okay, as I have told you in the question if the counter value is now greater than 9 then again the counter value will be initialized by 1 that is it will be again starting by 1. So I have simply written this statement only if the counter is greater than 9 in a particular iteration then bring back that counter to 1. Next thing is see now we are iterating the string okay so when we are iterating a string there are two possibilities either we and either the current character is a vowel or either the current character is not a vowel. So let's just say, uh, let's just see both the cases. If our current character is a vowel, that is if map dot count that and current character, that is, it means that if this if condition is true, that is the current element is present in the map, that is the current element is a vowel. Then in that case, what we will do, we will, what we will do, we will simply, uh, we will simply append our counter to the answer variable. Okay. So let's just suppose, let's just suppose we have an input string str, sorry, str is equivalent to, again, let's just say uh, de mon, so let's just suppose demon, okay, our input string is demon, okay. Now we have traversed three characters, let's just understand by traversing this string only. So we are traversing this string, our counter value is at, currently our counter value has been initialized by one, as I've told you here. Now we are iterating over this string. So first character is D. So first if counter is greater than 9, no it is not greater than 9 so we will move ahead. So current character is D. So is map contains D, so answer will be no. So in this if condition it will not go, it will simply go into this else condition. Okay, we have our answer variable also which was initially initialized by this empty string only. So current character is D. So counter is not greater than 9, we will not do anything. Uh, map does not contain D, so we will not do go inside this if condition, we will straight away go into the else condition. So in else condition what is happening answer plus is equal to string of i that is current character so answer will now become d next character is e okay next character is d sorry e so e again counter is greater than 9 no map dot contains e no therefore we will go into this else condition so in else condition what we'll do we will again appending this e into this answer variable only so this is e then the third uh, third letter comes that is m so in this m again if condition will not be fulfilled this if condition this if condition will not, no, also not be fulfilled again we will go into this else condition and we will append this m in the current answer variable so again it will become m only now our current character is o so is counter variable greater than 9 no it is still not greater than 9 it is still 1 only if 
is map dot count current uh, map dot count o it means that does our map contains o so answer is yes so therefore this if condition will be fulfilled so in this if condition what we are doing now we cannot just append o here we will have to append a counter that is what is the uh, uh, we will have to assign it a number so what we are doing we are simply doing count we are simply converting now the current counter variable to this character how we convert our current counter variable to the character we simply append plus zero here plus zero character here so what we'll now do we will simply do uh, answer plus zero counter plus zero so this is what it is doing since the counter value is currently one so one plus zero character it will become character one it will now become character one and this one will be appending here so this is what this entire thing is doing and at the next step inside this if only we are doing counter plus plus that is now counter has become two okay so one has been appended in the answer string and now the counter value has become two now moving to the next character that is n so is n counter values greater than nine no does map contains n the answer is no therefore we will go inside this else condition and we are simply appending this n inside it so this is how our entire iteration has taken place in which we have like replaced all the vowels with the con uh, with the numbers in the increasing order now what was our next step next step was very simple simply have to reverse this answer string we have to simply reverse this answer string and there is an inbuilt function in c++ only which helps us in doing this so what we'll do we will inside this reverse string we will pass answer.begin because this answer is the string that we want to reverse and then answer.end that is the ending part of this string and once this reversal has happened we will simply return answer to our variable or answer to the function so i hope all these things are clear to you code is also clear let us now quickly run with the help of example let us run with the help of india first and then we'll come to australia so in india let us see our expected output matches or not it should be uh, okay it gives some error okay okay sorry so this we have to remove this thing you have to remove now let's just run it let's just hope, hope that it all works down works so yes 3 to dn1 it is our expected output now let's just quickly put our australia also so it should also give us the expected output only and I, I am very 100% sure that this particular code will pass all the test cases that will be given to you. So our expected output will be 54L3 RTS21. Okay, where it has gone. So yes, 54L3 RTS21. So this particular code will pass all the test cases that will be given to you. And guys, if you are like, again, if you are not subscribed to the channel till now, please subscribe it because it will be of great help for you as well as for me because i am continuously posting videos regarding different different companies which are hiring thank you for watching this video and do share this video among your friends